Hello and welcome to Euro PCR 2017. My name is Christopher Cook and it is my pleasure to be joined here by world experts Dr. Julio Hualiumi from Italy and Dr. Ziad Ali from America to discuss in this PCR TV session how can intravascular imaging improve PCI results. So Ziad, my first question to you is what evidence do we have for the use of IVUS and OCT? So actually, Chris, the evidence is, is really irrefutable. There are not only multiple randomized controlled trials, there are also multiple registries, accounting up to about seven meta-analyses, including specific patient subgroups, such as complex PCI, overall, STEMI, non-STEMI, all of which show irrefutably that imaging-guided PCI reduces major adverse cardiovascular events. So the evidence is there. So the next question that I have for you, Julio, is when and how should we use this? It's truly important to try to use in the proper way. And the proper way, Chris, is uh, to anticipate uh, the type of a strategy that you can do during the procedure. So limiting the use of uh, this imaging only for the final optimization of the stent uh, is uh, very reducing uh, the potency of this technology. You need uh, to map uh, the procedure, you need uh, to make a decision Today we can provide precise measurements and a tool that in a few seconds can give you the essence for decision making. So we think that the most appropriate is to have the technique used in complex patients where we can expect to have the maximum benefit, but to start to do it, this imaging assessment before making the decision and not only limiting after the stent implant. So that's a key bit of advice there, is that these are not just things that you use towards the end, you use them throughout and it helps you plan and treat your patients appropriately. And optimize the, the procedure. Fantastic, so perhaps I've got one question for both of you in turn, is what do you think is the next biggest development in the field? So Chris, I think the biggest development that's upcoming is the Illumion 4 trial. This is the first large-scale, pivotal, randomized controlled trial that's going to compare angiography to intravascular imaging, in particular OCT, aimed at just what Julio said, those patients who are most likely to benefit. So these are high-risk patients and high-risk lesions that will be randomized to angiography against OCT with a primary outcome of target vessel failure at between one and two years. Fantastic. The field never stops. And for you, what is your greatest development you hope to see? We want to provide Chris objective measurements. So it means very quickly not to go to the personal interpretation, but to try to have something that you can measure, you can repeat with a very high level of accuracy and is providing you the right direction for the decision that we are taking during different steps of the procedure. All these tools today can have a much higher resolution, much quicker pullback and uh, the stability of the measurements is extremely important. This is the switch uh, that we, we would like to see in the field. Well, thank you both for your expert opinions. And I think the three things that we can perhaps say is that one, we need to do more. Two, we need to do it properly. And three, we need to do it in the right patients that deserve these innovations. <laughs>